Hello, Air Nation. Airbender here. And welcome to the first episode of Super Nintendo Adventure. Or SNES Adventure, if you want. Or SNES Adventure, if you call it that. I don't care. Just pick it and pick it. I don't care. <laughs> Hopefully, I have created um, the intro video for this series. And you know what it is. But if you have not seen that video, or <laughs> I just was lazy, um, the rundown of the series is about... I want to say like 10 years ago I created a blog where I wanted to run through every NES game ever made just because you know it seemed like a cool idea well when I was thinking about another series that I could do for my channel that popped up in my head however yeah the, the NES is a series is a system that I owned growing up the Super Nintendo was not um, so I want to do the Super Nintendo so the premise of that series was to do a 20 minute like quick session through every game in the library and determine if it would be a game that I would want to play and do a full playthrough someday. Well, I'm going to amend that since I am a streamer these days. I am going to rate it whether or not I would continue streaming it on my stream. And if it does match with that rating... I will consider adding it to the calendar. So, obviously, I can't be doing all Super Nintendo games on the stream. I do have a lot of backlog games, but um, there are plenty on here that I wouldn't mind adding to the calendar. So, we're going to start with, with something, something simple. Now, with the Super Nintendo games, I'm going to go in order from release date in the United States. And they can be games I've already played. Because while I did never, I have never owned a Super Nintendo. I have played through a bunch of games on this system before. So there are going to be some games that I'm going to play there and be like, oh yeah, I played this before. And I will mention that this is one of them. Because of course it is. If you have never played this game, this is a quintessential game. So I'm kind of biased going into it, but for the sake of completionist, I do want to play every game. So. I think I'm gonna turn the volume up just a tad. I also don't know why I'm out of breath. I um, sound like I fucking ran a marathon or something. All right, so this is Super Mario World. Should probably keep this open so I have this information in front of me. So Super Mario World was a launch title for the Super Nintendo. And when you look at the launch titles for the Super Nintendo, which are going to be the first five episodes of this series, pretty fucking stacked. Um, so this and the other four games were released on August 23rd, 1991 in North America. And I believe that is the one next to it is Japan. So that's November 21st, 1990. So this was in the era when games were released in Japan first and then translated and brought over here. None of that worldwide release shit. So, just like every Mario game, uh, which <laughs> I actually have a funny story. Um, I will get into that in a second. Um, but, yeah, just like every other game in this era, it was released first in Japan and then over here. It is a quintessential Mario game. It is probably rated one of the best 2D Mario games of all time, and I have to agree with it. It, like, doubled the scale of what Super Mario Bros. 3 was on the Nintendo. It, it, it's crazy. There are essentially 96 exits. I don't know how many actual levels there are. I just know 96 is the exit total. It is also located on Yoshi's Island. It is not the Mushroom Kingdom. The story is basically this. Mario and... Mario, Luigi, and Peach all go to a vacation on um, Yoshi's Island. And I go through the pipe really early. I don't usually do that. <laughs> and of course, Princess Peach is kidnapped by Bowser. <laughs> because it wouldn't be a Mario game without it. So... It is the goal of Mario, Luigi, Mario and Luigi to save her. So this is a two-player game. You can play as Luigi. 
but you have to play playing a two player game. You cannot be playing as Luigi with a one player game. You will be playing as Mario. So what is some carryover from this and its direct prequel, Mario 3, is that just like Mario 3, um, you have the map like that, you just level select, so you pick a level. Um, you have the mushroom and the flower, those are two power-ups that come over. New things include this little guy. Hey, thank you for asking me. My name is Yoshi, on my way to rescue my friends. Bowser trapped me in that egg. It's the first game with Yoshi. That green dinosaur that some people like and some people don't. <laughs> also, tax is coming up in April. Yeah. We all know that meme. <laughs> that, honestly, that is probably one of my favorite memes of all time and i have to look up the origins of it which um me in the future why don't you uh post on screen or post a video right here of the origins of that and now that we're back from that um <laughs> if i wasn't lazy enough and actually did something i also didn't bring yoshi in here i usually bring yoshi in here I actually got one on the rebound. <clears throat> but yes, there is a lot of changes. Obviously, the color, the just overall aesthetic of this game is just like so much more vibrant. Obviously, that is also another change is that um, you can hold an item at a time. I have 69 coins. Nice. I'm just all over the place in this because that's just that's who I am. But anyway, um, yeah, so... This game is, is so like so much prettier. And it does control really well. Um, a lot of people love this game because of its controls. And you know what? When you get used to it, it definitely is one of the best. Um, obviously not growing up with it. I'm not used to the controls all that much. So there are times I do get turned around. However, this is one of my favorite parts. Yeah! So I am playing this on the uh, Switch, and you might be won wondering, um, but Airbender, if you're playing it on the Switch, you're playing it not the way it was meant to be played, with the Super Nintendo controller. And I say, kind sir and madam, I actually have the 8-bit do Super Nintendo Switch controller. And I am playing it with such a device. So I actually am playing this with its original controller scheme. The only difference being is that I have the analog sticks, so I, I am using the analog sticks to move. But luckily, it's not it's not causing too much of an issue. But yeah, this game is is amazing. I feel like I'm probably gonna get through Yoshi's Island at least in this playthrough. So this is the game that introduced the idea of the Yoshi sacrifice. It does not have the um, flutter jump yet. That isn't instituted until sunshine? Is it really sunshine that brings in the flutter jump? Because it's not because he's not really in Mario 64, technically. But the next game he's playable is Sunshine. Holy shit. Sunshine is the one that introduces the Flutter Jump? Wow. And apparently the castles are racist against Yoshis. They don't let us bring the Yoshi. <laughs> I still don't understand why you can't bring a Yoshi into a castle in this game. There must be some sort of limitations. But 
I have 69 stars as well. Jesus Christ. Game, like... I appreciate it, but... Couldn't let the mean die, could you? I mean, what else more is there to say about this game? This game is awesome. You can't play this and not have fun with it. Also, boop. If I'm not mistaken, that is mode seven right there, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so to continue what I was saying earlier, the launch titles for the North American Super Nintendo were these five games, and these are gonna be the five first games in the series. They are this game, F-Zero, Gradius 3, Pilot Wings, no, Iggy, you suck, thank you, I think that was Iggy, I'm gonna call him Iggy, yeah, F-Zero, Gradius 3, Pilot Wings, SimCity, and this game, that is a quite a who's who of, of games, um, of those five, I have played through one, and that is this one. I may have dabbled in SimCity. I've never touched Pilot Wings. I think I may have played Gradius 3 in high school. And then F Zero, I've turned on, but never really played. So that's going to be fun. And here, well, I was going to show the other major change in this game. Ah, damn it. The new power-up. Here, we'll show it right here. Boop! And that is Kate Mario. Kate Mario can fly. Even on a Yoshi, which is pretty cool. Um, he also can glide, so... I was playing this before I started recording, this level in particular. Um, while I was watching Monday Night Raw episode 30. Uh, not episode 30. <laughs> they haven't had, they've had more than 30 episodes. <laughs> um, when I was watching Raw 30, the 30th year anniversary of Monday Night Raw. Can I go back down this one? Yoshi, I miss you, buddy! Bye, Yoshi. I'll miss you. And this is one of the major features of the uh, feather and the cape itself. You can fly. And this is one of those things that, that is like easy to learn but really hard to master. And it takes many, many years of knowing this mechanic to get it right. And that is flying. Basically, what you have to do is, um, when you are up in the air and you're holding the run button and you get enough momentum. Oh, it's Yoshi. Um, you can fly up. And if you're not on a Yoshi, um, you can actually fly indefinitely. Wondering if I can get up there. Fuck. Yes, game. I am very well aware. Well, not getting up there now. Fine game. Fuck off. I don't. I don't. I didn't want to go up there anyway. I mean, there is an easier way to get up there. It's just, I wanted to try and cheese it because that's what I do. <laughs> if anyone watched me play Super Metroid live on stream, they know. 
I will attempt anything once. <laughs> I'm I'm inflicting this on myself though. That's the problem. Cuz I don't have to do this. But I'm trying I'm trying to challenge myself with this. So, looking at my recording, I'm about 15 minutes in. Obviously, if I add in a joke, um where I said I was going to add in a joke. Um, it wasn't even really a joke. It was an explanation. Um, so I'm going to record 20 minutes of game footage. These episodes may run longer than 20 minutes. Depending on like if I do add anything into them. Um, obviously add it. I keep fucking... Those bats keep fucking getting me. As Jacob said, bats are just birds, and birds are all assholes. And I have yet to be proven wrong. Alright, so there are two ways to do this. Don't crack that shell. Um... So yeah, the other thing that was added was that spin jump. So if you press the A button on the controller, you actually do a secondary jump. If you press the B button, you do a normal jump. But if you press the A button, you do a spin jump. And yes, since this is the SNES version. Oh, that was mean. Ooh, excuse me. I'm burping up pickles. Because all I fucking do is eat pickles these days. <laughs> I just looked over at the, the launch titles. Three, no, sorry, four of the five launch titles were all were Nintendos. Which, come to find out, SimCity, published by Nintendo as well. And Maxis, which is the creator of the Sim franchise. If you've ever played a Sims game before, you know that name. I do. My ex-wife used to play the Sims games. I tried. I tried playing those. I just, I can't, those are games I can't get into. And we'll probably talk about it when I boot up SimCity. The only one that was not Nintendo, Gradius Three. This will probably be the last level I do. No, I started. Um, I started the timer at two minutes because I was talking for two minutes so I have about four minutes so we could probably do a couple more levels but I mean the overall gist of this game is pretty well evident I'm going to be very up blunt um, up front about this this is a game I would stream I'm gonna I'm gonna give it my my opinion right now <clears throat> but I will reiterate it at the end No! No! <laughs> Son of a bitch. So this is very deceiving. <laughs> I say that as I die. Um, well, listen, earlier when I played this level... It didn't go all the way to the top. So I don't understand why now of all times it did. But yes, there is one. There is a um, a plan in the future for myself to do a Mario. 
That shell was shaken. It was about to come out. And if things come out of their shells, they had they hurt they hurt you. So this past November that just came out uh, went by, November 2022, um, I did Zelda month. Um, and that was because I am a huge fan of Zelda. I'm also a huge fan of peanut butter game, but that's beside the point. Um, and if you get that reference, subscribe to my channel. Um, but I was gonna do like a Mario month or something, but another streamer I watch already does it and I didn't want to infringe. But I will eventually do one. And it will probably be a similar style to Zelda Month. So Zelda Month, what I did was I beat every Zelda game that I had never beaten before. I'm a huge Zelda fan. And there were so many of the series. I don't know why I'm yawning and talking at the same time. I am so sorry about that. I mean, am I? Am I, though? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm a huge Zelda fan. And... Um, I'd always wanted to go back through the series and, and beat every Zelda game that I had never beaten. And I did that for the most part. See? It doesn't go all the way up the second time. Game, you lied to me. Anyway. I'm not bitter. Not at all. Also, if you swing your cape like that, you can attack enemies. That's cool. So now we will see when you get 100 stars what happens when you get 100 stars. And that'll probably be the last thing I do, because we're running out of time here. You get a bonus game! And it is basically tic-tac-toe. And why yes, if you do it from this corner, you will more than likely get a star. Would you look at that? So every line in tic-tac-toe, you get a one-up. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. That's right. So yeah, one day I will eventually go through and play Mario games on stream. Not necessarily in a particular order, but, you know, eventually. So that is Super Mario World. Um, and the first game in the series. And it, I mean, come on now. If you don't know Super Mario A or Super Mario World B... I don't know what else to tell you. I love this game. This is one of the gr one of the greatest Mario games ever made. I feel. Um, oh, sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. One of the greatest two D Mario games ever made. And there is a reason why the debate is usually between this and Super Mario Brothers three as to which two D Mario is the best. So, this is the series. The next time. I post a video in this series. It will probably be either F Zero or Pilot Wings. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I mean, I, I know you hear that from all these all lots of YouTubers, but it really does help. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. I also stream on Twitch four days a week, or sorry, four nights a week at twitch.tv slash airbender56. And with that, I am signing off. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye-bye.